Hello friends welcome back to our TS Info YouTube channel this is Ganesh Yadav in this video we are going to discuss power apps list box control first of all let me explain what is power apps list box control a list box control is an interface element that allows user to select one or more items in power apps the list box control fulfills this function by displaying all choices and enabling the user to select multiple items simultaneously Unlike the drop down control which only allows selecting one option or, or the radio button which permits only one selection. In this list box control you can add the items by using the items property. Next I will show you what are the key properties of a power apps list box control. Here you can see these are the key properties of a list box control. Display mode this property can either accept user input display data only or be disabled on change here some actions that could be performed when a user changes the value of a control such as adjusting a slider on select actions to be performed when the user taps or clicks on a control reset determining whether a control returns to its default value selected this refers to the data record that corresponds to the chosen item and select multiple determining whether a user can select multiple items within a list box next i will show you practically how to add list box control in power apps and how to add items into the power apps list box control to achieve it first of all open your power apps with your respective microsoft credentials and whenever you want to create a blank canvas of just click on the create button here select the blank app and you can choose blank canvas of then click on the create button here provide the app name and you can also change the format either tablet or phone as per your needs then click on the create button Whenever you want to add a list box control into the power apps just expand the insert tab here search the list box and select the list box control here you can see whenever user adds a list box control by defaultly the items property contains the list box sample values like 1 2 3 and control name is list box 1 next i will explain power apps list box add items manually now i would like to add department items or records manually for that set its items property like here you can see these are the department records you can also adjust the list box control and change the font size Once your app is ready just save and publish the app. Now go to the preview section. Here you can see the list box control retrieves the department items manually. Similarly I will show you how to add power apps list box items from SharePoint online list. Here you can see this is my SharePoint online list as project tracker. Inside this I have added different columns with various data types. Now I would like to add this title column on a list box control. For that go to the power apps and add a another blank screen. And before adding a list box control you should remember you have to connect the respective SharePoint online list. For that go to the data section. Here select the add data and search SharePoint. Here select the respective SharePoint online site. Then choose your respective SharePoint online list. Then click on the connect button. Now go to the power app screen. Here insert the list box control.
then set its item property like you can see here this is my sharepoint online list as project tracker and title is my sharepoint online list text column now change the font size and go to the preview option here you can see the list box control retrieves all the records from a sharepoint online list Next I will show you how to add multiple columns into the list box control. For that insert another blank screen. Then add a list box control. Here you can see this concatenate function concatenates a mix of individual strings and a single column table of strings. And here you can see this is my title column and this is my text column like assigned to. And once your app is ready just save the app and go to the preview option. Here you can see the list box control displays the two columns from the SharePoint list. Next I will show you how to work with the Power Apps list box selected items. For that go to the default screen. Here select the list box control manual items. You can rename the list box control. Next insert a text label. Then set its text property. Here change the font size. Now go to the preview option. Here select the multiple values from the list box control and the text label will display the selected items from the list box control. At the same time you can also disable this multiple selection in a list box control. For that go to the select multiple property. Here you can make it as false. Then select the text label and change the text property. Now click on the preview option. Here you can see the list box control gives only the single selection. And the text label will display the list box selected value. Yes friends, this is all about Power Apps list box control. I hope guys you like this video to give you a like and do subscribe our YouTube channel for more free videos on SharePoint Online, Power Apps, Power Automate and Power BI. Thank you.